شون از مال تاس مال تاس فلاس اندیوس اس سپیرید آف دا لیفین کارد فال افرش again thank you for helping us to celebrate the birthday of your mother so meaningfully this year thank you for making us feel so lucky that we have Mary our mother as our own mother Thank you for all the blessings, the graces that you have showered on us through the intercession of your mother. Thank you for guiding us, Lord, whenever we lost our direction, whenever we felt the life is become bleak, the future is bleak. Thank you for being our guide and light. As we are here with you, help us to be with you, Jesus, and spend this few moments in your mighty presence. As you say, come to me, all those who are heavily laden, and I will give, give you rest. I'm here to lay my all heavy burdens at your feet now and rest a while in your presence. We are here to lay down all our petitions at your feet and rest a while with you. We are here to lay down our families and everything that is disturbing our families. 
and rest a while in your presence. We are here, Lord, to lay ourselves, all that we are going through, all that is bring us, bringing us down, we are here to lay them all at your feet and rest with you. Be with us, Lord. Let your presence strengthen all of us. We make this prayer in your mighty name. Amen. Kindly be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, all of us had a very meaningful celebration and a blessed celebration of the birthday of our mother yesterday. After two years, we were waiting for this celebration, for this joy, for this presence. Even, even in our parish, all that we had planned went off so meaningfully and in a blessed way. And nothing happens without the grace of God. We prayed for it. And indeed, the Lord has blessed and guided us. In today's Gospel, the Lord speaks about guidance. He speaks about leaders. And He says, how can a blind man lead another blind man? Some of us are placed in the leading position of our life as parents very specially you are the first leaders for your children that leading begins there for everything the child look up to the father and the mother you are the first and the greatest leader and some of us are working, people working under us. For some of us, the Lord has given a place in the church to lead as priests, as bishops and leaders of the church. Some of us are working in the schools as teachers, serving in institutions, as doctors and in various positions and the Lord is reminding us that we are called to lead like Christ and you and I cannot afford to be a blind leader wherever we are whatever we are I may say I'm nobody, I'm not a teacher, I'm not a someone who's working in an office, I'm at home. But definitely you are a mother, you are a father. You are someone to whom the other looks up. And the Lord says, is your leading according to my gospel? And when we look at the Lord, we have got to learn from the Lord when we lead. The Lord leads us, guides us through his words and his life. Even tomorrow you take off all the Bibles and hide them somewhere, still Jesus can speak to us. If someone takes all the Bibles in the world and they lock them up, even destroy them, Jesus can still speak to us. His life is guiding us not only the words that are there in the Bible the very life of Christ the very life of Christ is a lesson and a gospel very life and that is what he says can a blind man lead another blind man when my, when my life is shrouded in darkness how can I give light to someone who is in darkness and that is where Jesus puts those things very clearly. I am the way, the light and the life. Truth. He goes on. 
he is the way he is not only someone who guides us but he is also the way and the destination a leader is someone who is very clear about his destination about his goal and jesus was one such the greatest leader of all the time he was very clear about his destination i will come and take you with me wherever i am you also may be and he says to that place where i am taking you you know the way and immediately thomas asked him lord we do not know where you are going how do we know the way and he says i am the way i am the way he was very clear am i someone i myself i am confused in my life i do not know which direction to take i do not know how my life is heading how can i guide my children how can i guide my little ones when i am not convinced of certain things in life how how will i be able to convince others the very life of christ is convincing if he preaches about forgiveness that is convincing in the life of christ if he preaches about giving that is convincing he gives gives everything he forgives he forgive everyone the very life of christ is convincing not just his words that is how he challenges the scribes and pharisees if not because of my words look at my works and believe in me if you are not comfortable with my words forget but look at my action look at my life they are convincing they are convincing but then they were blind not only to the words of christ but also to the works of christ to the life of christ the life of jesus speaks we are not ha- hanging on any book or anything we hang on the person of christ he speaks to us and we cannot be in darkness and telling someone how light looks like and i will show you the light that is where the lord is telling us you be in the light first today's gospel is very challenging to all of us who call ourselves as disciples of christ we cannot be people who are living in falsehood and tell someone be true to me and or i will tell you what is truth we cannot be someone who do not appreciate life we cannot be someone who cannot appreciate all the gifts that the lord has given us in our life and tell others i will teach you how to live the lord says you experience it first as leaders we have to experience it first if i tell someone i will show you the way the way is here for us to experience if i tell my children don't worry i will show you the light the light is here for us to experience first if we are advising our little ones i will tell you how to lead your life the life is here for us to experience if we are asking someone if we are telling someone about truth the truth is here for us to experience unless we have met this light unless we have experienced this life unless we have walked on this path this truth we cannot be leaders guiding like christ and today that is the invitation that the lord is giving all of us he says learn from me learn from me and today we have got to sit before him and learn from him and then shine as we are here before the lord we thank god for all the times that he has guided us at times when we did not know what to do he has given us the light the wisdom the life that we were longing for the graces that we asked for and today as we ask the lord lord bless me so that 
I may be a leader like you. And we also thank the Lord for the guidance, the support that He has given us. And as we sing this hymn, we thank the Lord for guiding us, for leading us, for, for being at our side, knowing all that we want and helping us in, in those things. We say, the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me along. As we sing this, let us feel the guidance of our good shepherd. The leader who has led us by his life, not by his works. That is why I said, take all the Bibles and hide them somewhere. Jesus can still speak. Jesus can still speak powerfully. Because his life is the gospel for us. May the life of Christ continue to speak to us. Let every word, every work of Christ continue to inspire us, continue to guide us. Our Good Shepherd, be with us and guide us. God is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures, very gay. Nothing I shall want. Yes, the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Guides me along what he knows to be right. Nothing I shall want is yes, the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Prepare such a bad. Let us spend a few moments in silence looking at our mighty God who is with us. When we look at the Eucharist, the Lord humbles himself so that he becomes a piece of bread and becomes our food for life. That speaks 
how much the lord is ready to humble himself so that we can be exalted thank you jesus for being with us in the form of the eucharist dear jesus as we are before you we continue to pray for all the sick members of our parish community the ones who are admitted in the hospital we continue to pray for all the families in the parish lord every time you visited your apostles after the resurrection you told them peace be with you because you knew that they were troubled that they were afraid that they were restless and every time you appeared to them you strengthened them and told them peace be with you some of our families are afraid afraid of things that they may not be able to say outside troubled for issues that they may not be able to express families that have lost peace families that are restless you visit those families jesus and tell them peace be with you give them the grace to accept that peace bless them so that they may accept that offer of salvation that you are giving them we continue to pray for all our children for our youth the elders the parents and every member of our parish community we continue to place our parish at your feet continue to guide us continue to unite us continue to bless every activity that we are doing in this parish lord we have presented before you all our prayers and we ask this in your mighty name amen my dear brothers and sisters let us now receive the blessings from the eucharistic lord we prepare ourselves for the benediction
O oh God, when this wonderful sacrament is left as a memorial of thy passion, grant as we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that we may ever experience within us the fruits of thy redemption, who livest and reignest world without end. Okay. 